So the next thing I want to discuss is sharing animation blueprints. Now one of the reasons why we had these guys on the same skeleton, not these guys, but this guy and this guy on the same skeleton was so that we could assign the same logic to different characters. The problem with that is that the characters may not necessarily need to play the same animations. In fact, what if we had a female version of the, our mannequin character here? We would still want to have the same logic driving it, but the animations wouldn't necessarily play correctly. We might be able to retarget it, but then won't play correctly. Alternately, we've been using these iron sights animations. Let's just filter for that. But what if we wanted to do from the hip, which is the other set of animations? So I've already created a movement hips BP. If you come down and look at some of this stuff, there's walk, rifle, iron sights, and there's also uh, there's a standard crouch rifle hip as opposed to a standard crouch iron sights that we used. So what if we just wanted to have the same character but with a different moveset because maybe it's a different weapon or a different class? All these are really good reasons why you would want to be able to share the animation blueprint but still change the animations. Fortunately, there's a couple ways to do that. I'm going to show you one of them here real quick. Let's go ahead and right click and we're going to create a child blueprint class. And we'll go ahead and leave the name there and that's fine. So now if you open this you'll find there's still an event graph but there's no anim graph. But what you have here is a bunch of animation overrides. So what we can do is right here where we have the aim iron sights additive, we can plug in the aims hips additive where we have the movement iron sights, we can plug in the movement hips. Now notice it's not going to allow you to mix and match. In other words, you're going from blend space to blend space, you're not going from blend space to animation. So, and it's a good example, here is the animation, not a blend space. So stand the crouch iron sights, we want stand the crouch rifle hip and then crouch to stand rifle hip now I didn't do a alternate crouching one here I could have done that so now if we can compile it you can see that the arms have dropped because he's in a completely different stance, he's holding a completely different weapon. And our aim blend looks really differently because he's holding the weapon differently. So that's one way of overriding the animations and creating another animation set. And then we can come in here to the character and switch that anim BP. And now you can see he's got a different moveset.